Hello guys, before we start this following piano tutorial, I'm going to quickly tell you how you can get the best out of this lesson and how everything is structured. Okay, firstly, even though I verbally tell you all the notes and chords in detail, you should still have a pen and paper to write down the melody notes and matching chords as we go through the lesson so you can actually easily remember it to practice afterwards. Okay, so personally, I like to write the melody in blue on the top with the matching chords below in red, like this. Anyway, the lesson is broken up into sections so you know which part of the song you are learning. The sections are further broken down into parts so it is easier to remember and practice right on the spot. The parts are further broken down into separate hands, then hands together to ensure that you get each and every note of the melody and chords correct. Anyway, with that all said, let's jump straight into the lesson, and happy learning! Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Nogla's outro song, okay? So this song is pretty catchy, it's a short loop that goes something like this. I'll give you a preview, it goes like this. for like infinite times if you want, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and start learning this song. Okay, so the right hand goes like this, okay? So the only hard thing is the right hand because it's pretty fast and it requires agility and strength, okay? So it goes like this. Right hand starts on the C sharp, just above middle C. C is right here, C sharp, okay? So it goes C sharp, E, G sharp up to C sharp, and then G sharp, E, and then C sharp. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's do it again. So right hand goes C sharp E, G sharp, C sharp, and then G sharp E, C sharp, like that. With the second finger, because the next part starts on the B, okay? But anyway, one more time. So when it's fast, it goes like this. Like that. So practice it like grouping in four, two, and then like one. So it's like. Like that. One, two, three, four, da da da, like that. Okay? The left hand, the first part, the first chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp E and G sharp, okay? So with that one chord in mind, the C sharp minor, let's put the two hands together. It goes like this for the first part. It's the chord first, then the right hand comes in. It goes chord. Like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. Chord. Like that. Okay, when it's faster. Make sure the rhythm is smooth and articulate as well because it's no good if you play it really like messy. Like, no point, okay? But anyway, that's the first part. Now the second part, right hand, continues on from the C sharp, goes to B, as I said. That's why the second finger was on the C sharp before. So the first finger I'm gonna go on B goes B, and then E, G sharp, and up to C sharp, B, like that. Okay? Just like that. It goes B, E, G sharp, C sharp, B, like that. Okay? That's the second part. So it's five notes. So pretty much it's like da 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 like that. Like that. These are the five notes. Okay, so that's the right hand for the second part. The left hand, the chord is a uh, second version of E major, which is B, E, and G sharp. Okay, so with that in mind, the second version of E major for one time, it goes like this for two hands together for the second part. So it goes like this. B and the chord together. Like that. One more time, so the second part goes like this, goes together, like that. Okay, so the first and second part together goes like this. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Like that. Make sure you get the rhythm right, that's the main thing, okay? And then afterwards, okay, so that's the first and second part we just learnt. Now moving on to the third part, right hand goes like this, goes down to the A sharp below middle C, goes A sharp up to E, up to G sharp and then A sharp and then goes G sharp E and then jumps down to B like that. That's one of the harder part because like it's an awkward jump and the next part is the first finger on A that's why we have the second finger right here. But anyway, so these are the uh, seven notes for this third part it goes like this A sharp E G sharp A sharp G sharp E B like that. Okay, so when it's faster, it's grouped, it's similar to the grouping of the first part. It goes one, two, three, four, da da da, like that. So, okay, 
Okay, so practice slowly and then build up the speed. Articulation, okay? So, let's uh, do the left hand for this third part. The left hand here, we have, okay, pay attention, this chord is A sharp half diminished, which is A sharp, C sharp, E, and G sharp, okay? So with that A sharp half diminished chord in mind, let's put the two hands together, it goes like this, okay? So it's the chord, just the same rhythm as the first part. It's a chord and then right hand comes in, it's like, dun. Like that, okay, like this, here. When it's faster, it just goes, dun. Like that. Like that. One, two, three, four, da da da, like that. Okay, and then it moves on to the fourth part. Right hand from this B goes to the A here. That's why we had the finger move before. It goes A, and then up to the A, G sharp, and then A, G sharp, like that. Okay, so one more time. So right hand goes A, E, G sharp, A, G sharp, like that. So A, E, G sharp, E, G sharp, like that. So similar rhythm to the second part as well. So just like, dun, 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 like that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. The left hand here, however, for this fourth and last part of this um, cycle, there's three chords here. It's A major, A, C sharp, E, A major again, and then B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so these three chords, so there's passing chords. So A major, A major, and B major. With that in mind, let's put the two hands together. It goes like this, A and A major together, and then A and A major together, and then B major by itself, like that. Okay, so it goes like this, together, together, here, like that. When it's faster, it goes like this. So, going from the third to the fourth part just goes like this. Like that. So, remember to practice slowly first, then build up speed. Like that. Make sure the rhythm is correctly. Etc. And that's it for the fifth and third and fourth part, okay? So, what you want to do afterwards, just practice very slowly and get all the notes right and the rhythm right and very articulate and crisp, and then just start to build up speed and just loop forever, okay? This is a very catchy intro, yeah, from the start. So have fun learning this awesome outro song. I've done a lot of other outro songs as well, including like PewDiePie's ones and Jepsepticeye, um, Markiplier, many others. Okay, you can check it out in the like playlist below. There's somewhere in the video game uh, piano covers like playlist that I have in the description below. But anyway, as for now, I guess enjoy time enjoying all my other like 1,400 piano videos. Like there's so many for you to enjoy and learn from. But anyway, as for now, yeah, just enjoy time on my channel and see you next time. Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my ear mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.